Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm walking for a peaceful park in Ashford today. This is Ashford, Kent. Just down there is the River Great Stour. And on the other side of the park is the River East Stour. And just north up here somewhere of the park, the two rivers joined together and there was once a ford there. And that is where supposedly the name Ashford, Ashford, comes from. I've come here today though to go and visit the Ashford Miniature Railway. So I've never been to this town before apart from passing through on a train. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to have a little look around the town and then um, so we'll see the town centre and then we'll walk out to find this miniature railway. So I'm just going to follow the Great Stour for a little way and as I said um, let's just go over we'll see the East Stour and then um, we'll, as I said, go and find the miniature railway. There's an old mill here. I think it looks possibly derelict now, but I think at one point, after a big fire in the 70s, it was converted to a nightclub, but it looks like it could be derelict again, which is a bit of a shame. So here is the the other river stour down there. So we have two rivers. I'm now going to make my way into the town centre. One thing Ashford is well known for is there's a railway works here and they built steam locomotives. And it appears to be highlighted here with this fountain with um, a steam locomotive wheel in the middle of it. So here we are, we're here in Ashford town centre, lots of nice tulips out. Seems quite a pleasant place as I said, I've never been here before but there's a real mixture of different styles of buildings. I'm going to go down this narrow street here. And go through, have a quick look at the church, and then, as I said, we're going to carry on through the housing estates. We're going to go and find this miniature railway because it's, um, I'm not sure exactly how far I'll, I'll know when I've walked there, but it's not actually in the town centre, it's um, in a housing estate, so it's quite an unusual location for a miniature railway. But I'm really looking forward to seeing it. So, go down into short little streets here, this one here. There's the church of St. Mary the Virgin in front of us. And uh, it opens out into this really pleasant area, completely traffic free. And um, you've just got all these houses facing the church. And the church isn't open, so unfortunately we cannot go and have a look inside, but just have a look at the building. And um, keeping in with Ashford's railway heritage, there's something around here. I'm going to show you. We get around the corner, we come to Ashford Museum. It's this building here now. It's not open today, but it's free entry. So uh, maybe another time we will go there. It's the old, it's the old grammar school. Um, but let's just have a look at this sign here. It's in the style of the South Eastern and Chatham Railway for Ashford Museum. So maybe another time we'll come to Ashford. We can have a look in there. Um, but in the meantime, I'm now going to find my way towards the railway station, and um, we're going to go out and. Um, see the miniature railway. So we're going to go round here and we're going to go down this rather attractive road here. All the daffodils are out, cherry blossoms out. It all looks really nice and attractive. When I get to the end of this um, little, I don't know to call this an alleyway or a street or quite what it is, but it's the path around the churchyard. But as you can see, people actually do live on here. And um, when I get to just up here. I'm going to turn left, leave the town centre and, just go, and uh, go and find the Ashford Miniature Railway. But I'm going to leave you with one more view of St Mary the Virgin's Church. Well, I've just left Ashford town centre, it's over there, and uh, I'm walking over the railway lines now. It's quite a complex junction here because you've got high speed one and you've got the classic lines all in one junction so we get quite a good view of it from here. High speed one is down there. You can see the yellow and black building. In front of it there's like a box. High speed one is down there in that box. So if you were going on a train to Europe you would pass down there and then it goes up onto a flyover and um, if you look out um, you'll get a brief glimpse of Ashford International Station. In the foreground is all the classic lines you can see their third rail the high speed lines are overhead, so then the lines between the box and the um, further electric lines, yes, that's where the stopping Eurostars um, would use, and so would the domestic trains, which um, 
come down high speed one in transport section. So quite a complex junction here. I've passed through it many times, um, although I haven't ever actually been online from here towards Tunbridge, but we'll do that one day. So I'm going to continue on out that way through the park and into the housing estates and find this miniature railway. I just grabbed a coffee from the kiosk down there. I'm now walking through Victoria Park. This isn't necessarily the most direct way to the railway, but um, whenever I go somewhere, I do like to explore and make a bit of a walk of it. And I saw a park on a map, so I thought, well, I might as well come this way. And you know, it seems quite pleasant. So, I'm just going to make my way through the park if I find anything else. Um, we'll certainly have a look at that. And then, as I said, we'll go to the Ashford Miniature Railway. I'm just coming down this footpath here. This is a bit of a shortcut. Um, it'll take me into the housing estate. So if you were coming by car, you wouldn't come this way. But I believe now we are very close. So it's been a bit of a walk. But if you were to come by train, you could always get a bus. I've seen plenty of buses out this way to this part of Ashford. So as we come out the footpath, we come into a housing estate. I find this um, quite an unlikely place for a miniature railway, but that's what makes miniature railways so exciting. They do sometimes turn up where perhaps you wouldn't expect to find a miniature railway. So here we come into this housing estate. Now you might as well get the sound of these ways. The miniature railway is just there. So let's have a look. We go around here, and um, oh, there's the miniature railway. So we can see two trains waiting at the station. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go and buy my ticket and uh, we'll go for a ride. So here we are, here is the ticket office of the Miniature Railway, you can see they've got a few stalls on, so um, I'm going to buy my ticket and then we'll go get on the train and have a ride on the Ashford Miniature Railway. I've got my ticket, let's go for a ride. So come round here, here is the station, so I believe they're going to let me in. Hello. Hello, can I see your tickets please? Yes, there you go. There we go, thank you very much. Yeah, I've dropped my ticket. Oh, it opens for me. Yeah, thank you very much. So, here we are. Here's the train. I'm going to jump on and um, go for a ride. I've had my ride on the railway, probably first of a few. It's, the local we travel behind is Bridget, so as you can see, it's a steam outline using loco. And the other loco they have is Merlin, so I'm sure we'll also get a trip behind Merlin. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to um, have another ride, I think.
Well, here we are down the other end of the line. Now, down here, we have Ollie. Hello. And <laughs> this is Ollie's railway. So I'm going to have a bit of a chat with Ollie, and he's going to tell us a bit about the railway. Indeed. So, yeah, the Ashton Military Railway is a non profit organisation run by myself and my brother George, who is currently driving the trains. We started work in 2017 and we had our first open day in September 2019. Here at the railway we've got four locomotives, Merlin who sat here behind me, Bridget who's hard at work pulling trains as well as Petroleum, our works horse and our Class 47 which is currently being rebuilt at RMV Engineering. So is there anything you'd like to ask me? So um, it's seven and a quarter inch gauge, am I right seven there? Seven and yep. a quarter inch gauge, yep. Uh, we run on 21 mil aluminium track. Great, yeah. Let's have a, there we go. There's get a view of the track. So um, the one thing I think's quite impressive about this railway is the fact you are on quite a small site, and I'm sure quite a lot of people would probably say, "Well, I'd love a miniature railway, you know, in my garden, but I can't because I don't have enough space." So what would you say to someone? Yeah, it's an age-old question, and we have fitted quite a lot in. So our track plan is of an equivalent shunting puzzle, basically, at the moment. We have a diamond crossover to be fitted uh, in the next season. We managed to fit a turntable in, uh, and we've got two platforms at the front of an island and platforms inside. So uh, it, it can be done, you can fit a lot in. We've got plans for a tunnel, possibly, and our full signal system, which is yet to be installed. That'll be interesting. Yeah, I've, I saw you've got a token system going. Yes. Um, that that can be seen on the video. I think it's... Is this, um, here comes the, the train? There we go. Oh, it's... So that's your other loco that's out today, isn't it? So yes, this is Bridget, our other loco. That's Bridget. So this was built three weeks ago. The newest seven and a quarter inch gauge loco in Britain? Yes, quite possibly. So, that, so today I've had a ride probably on the newest, maybe maybe even the newest locomotive in Britain. That's, um, yeah, I'm, I, I like that. The other question I've got is, you're in the middle of a residential area. Um, what do your neighbours think of you? Well, I you? mean, our, our neighbours, we get along with them perfectly. So our neighbours this side gave us half their alleyway so we can put a new, uh, new shed and a new siding in the future. And our neighbours this side absolutely love it because their children get free train rides and even the parents have to get back in sometimes with helping out. So that's great to hear. We get along quite well. Good. <laughs> that, that's that's really nice to hear. So, um, what would you say um, in the future? Have you got any particular plans? I know you said you've got a tunnel possibly coming. Yes, we've got a tunnel possibly coming, and we're going to have a diamond crossover put in the alleyway section, so we can run up to three rakes, so basically two coaches and a wagon. So the diamond crossover. Can you show us where it's going to be? Yeah, of course. That'll be well. um, be interesting to see that. So is it going to? So we've got a crossing here. So this is where you were saying. Yes. So this is our line. It's one of our sheds. It's our coach shed where our coaches live. Uh, and we're planning to put a point starting from here to run straight off and over, straight into a diamond crossing here, into another siding, which will be where our four aspects and our signs and stuff are at the moment. So you've got yeah. To be able to store another loco or a wagon or another coach on, on any you know gala open day if you need extra space and. If it's not, we can just punk a loco there and something else because we go past. Yeah, that'd be interesting. Now, there's one other thing. Um, if we walk back up to the station, well, there's no trains running, I noticed um, as I walked off the platform, I noticed you have a Lister engine here. Yes. Would you like to tell me about that? Because I'm so, quite interested to know. This is my Lister, which I purchased at the end of last year uh, for the wholesome price of £30. <laughs> um, so we got down there with my friend's car, we took it down, we nearly broke the car with the suspension <laughs> due to the sheer weight of it. Uh, but it needs a little bit of work done to it. It needs the uh, injectors and the fuel line replumped. Uh, once that's done, it will be going hopefully onto a seven quarter inch gauge list of auto truck of a sort. Um, with hopefully on a five speed gearbox. But when and when that's going to get done is, is down to all sorts of factors. But uh, that would be something new for the future as well. Well, we we'll look forward to seeing that. So, um, yeah, thank you very much for telling you about the railway. No worries. Um, soon I shall. Um, when the train arrives empty, I'll um, enjoy the ride back to the other end.
Well, I've had a great afternoon here at the Astra Minutes Railway. Thank you very much, guys. See you later. See you Thank later. you. So, um, if you're in Ashford area, do come and visit them. It's a really nice little railway. Um, I've, as I said, I've really enjoyed it. I'm going to now make my way back to the town centre. If you don't want to walk up here, there are buses that come out this way. So, if you've come by train or if you've parked in the town centre, um, you know, do come and visit the Ashford Miniature Railway. It's a um, really nice little railway. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe and comment. And from a housing estate in Ashford that has a miniature railway, goodbye.